What is going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? So a couple of days ago, I did react to my 2019 mock draft and you guys really liked that. So today I'm going to be reacting to my 2018 mock draft and I think it's actually a solid mock. Now it is 28 minutes long, but we can react to kind of the lottery picks and then we will react to, I guess, the non-lottery picks or we can fast forward that. But yeah, drop a like if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, me reacting to my old stuff and we can kind of make fun of myself. Uh, and then yeah, let me know in the comments anything else you want to see. But yeah, this video is 28 minutes long and I'm pretty sure I did it on 2K. So we'll, we can probably skip through this. All right, so we're here. Uh, this was obviously Luca was the best player. Aiden went number one overall. Let's see what I got to say. I would take... Luka Doncic with the number one pick. DeAndre Aiden has some questionable character issues that has been showing out through his interviews. Nothing dressed. Honestly, the character kind of came a lot because he has been late to some practices. He got suspended. Not a bad take there by me saying Luka number one. And, it's like nothing yeah, not that would kind of make you not direct them, but it would make you think a little bit. And Doncic is killing it overseas. He's won, won literally every award possible to win, and he's only 19. And I would take him number one, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go too... Uh, in detail on every pick, just kind of some major ones. And yeah, DeAndre Aiden, I've always thought it was going to be Doncic for the longest time, and then kind of just every other mock draft I've seen on the internet kind of persuade me not to. I still think there's a... I don't know what's going on with my eyebrows. I don't know why they're, like, white. Uh, I, I don't know what's going Chance on Chance they could just shake this up and go Doncic at one, and then this would change everything. But yeah, I think they're going to go Aiden at one. The Phoenix guy went to college in Phoenix. I don't know if he was... Uh, or went to University of Arizona. I don't know if he was born in Phoenix. But yeah, I am going to have him taking it up or him going number one to the Suns, pair up with Josh Jackson, pair up with Devin Booker. Josh Jackson. Phoenix. Now, pick number two, obviously, I've changed this so many times. Actually, no, no. I actually thought it was going to be Luka. I thought it was going to be Luka Doncic till like two days ago. And then the Kings are going to king. They should 100% take Luka in my eyes. I think he's the best player in this draft. Him and Bamba, I think they're the two best. <laughs> I make such a good take. Such a good take saying Luke is the best player in the draft. I should have just stopped myself there. And then I proceed to tell everyone how high I was on Mo Bamba. And it just kind of ruins it. So, <sighs> But I think they're going to be kind of dumb here and not take Luka. There is no problem with taking the player. I'm going to guess they're going to take. But I would just take Luka here. Obviously, with Bogdanovich, with Heald, with Fox. They don't need, like, their main focus shouldn't be, I guess, wing players. And that's kind of what's going to spark this pick here. With Marvin Bagley, I think they're going to take it number two. Two for two. Let's go. And, yeah, I obviously think they'll take Aiden if Aiden does not miraculously doesn't go one. But, yeah, I, I would take Luka here. I would 100% take Luka. But they're going to king, and they're going to make this interesting, and they're going to take Marvin Bagley, who I think is a very good pick here. Uh, they're going to go with the athletic big man type, which they haven't had a really a good, like, all-star caliber Cousins? big man that Bagley could be since Cousins was traded a couple years ago, like was, two years ago. It was like one year ago. <laughs> Almost. Or about a year, a year and a half ago. So, yeah, they're going to try to get that replacement. Pair him up with Scal and Coley Stein and try to figure out... Scal and Coley Stein. Harry Giles, try to figure out that combo with one of them playing center with Bagley going to be playing power forward. And, yeah, I have the Kings taking Marvin Bagley here at pick two. Kind of changing some things up here. So, now, number three here, originally up to a couple days ago. This is where everything kind of switched up. I had Mo Bamba. I had... Aiden 1, Doncic 2, Mo Bamba 3. No questions about it. Thought that was going to be it. Now, I think that the number one possible player in this draft, in my eyes, is going to fall to the third pick. Possibly the fourth pick. Imagine imagine Atlanta just pulls off just... They just go Trey Young over Dodgers. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is... I don't know. What time... What did I uh, record this? This was on June 21st, 2018. And I kind of predicted that they... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. NBA Twitter would explode it would be bad and also i'm going to the draft tonight so you can follow my twitter oh, link will be in the description and i'm gonna probably be tweeting out stuff i know espn can't tweet it so maybe you can follow if you follow me maybe i will um if you follow me maybe i will tweet out some stuff tonight i probably won't spoil every pick but just probably some notable ones that are kind of big uh so yeah i'm gonna have luka Doncic going through here to the i also really like going to the draft it's very expensive i went in, uh, i was at the barclays center um in 2018 and i wish i went a lot more because they were always in new york and now they're kind of changing it up but uh, i went to the barclays center one and it was it was nice it was just like 
we paid like 70 bucks for like nosebleeds, like upper section. And I met a couple of you guys there. It's just like, we were, we were always going to talk about how we're going to like splurge the next year, drop like 250 a ticket and wear suits and act like we were media guys and just like joke around me and my friends. Uh, that never happened, but it's fun to go to the draft. I definitely recommend it when obviously like COVID's over and everything and there's an in-person draft. Definitely try to go to one with your friends. It's it's a good time. To the Hawks, the great thing about Luka is he can play point guard, he can play shooting guard, he can play small forward. I'm pretty sure he's 6'7". Yeah, on this it says he's six. Six, but I think, yeah, it's six, seven, and he's 19. I think he can play point guard, shooting guard, small forward at a very good level. His, if his defense improves, I think this man could be an all star one day, an MVP candidate. People say, I, I'm kind of killing these Luka teams. He's Steve Nash in a six, seven body, which, okay, I don't know if he's that good of a passer, but he kind of is. He kind he's of getting is. a lot of praise. He's getting a lot of praise. He's winning every award in, in Spain, right? Where or, I don't know, he's on Real Madrid, so whatever he plays there, I'm pretty That's sure. That's Spain. Spain. And, yeah, I think Luca here. It, it, even if they move Bazemore, if they move, if they move <laughs> Schroeder, he. I think he's gonna start. If they don't move Schroeder, I think they'll go Schroeder, Doncic, um, Turin Prince with him coming off the bench. Because I think they're they're gonna start Turin Prince, obviously. So they're not gonna play him at small forward. So he'll play more of a point guard shooting guard role, depending on if they move Bazemore, if they move Schroeder, if they move neither. Of it's kind of crazy how different the NBA was just, just like two years ago. It, it's crazy because it's just so different now. Know, obviously, Bazemore is the six man, or him come off the bench. Not entirely the six man, but I think this is good for them just because there's been a lot of talks. All right, so I had Luca going three, which was right. So I am three for three. It went to the Mavericks, not the Hawks, but I'm technically right. I'm taking Mobamba. I'm not Mobamba. Marvin Bagley, if he falls here, him going at three, I would not like that pick at all. Just because you have John Collins, I find similarities to them, and neither of them are really a good defender. And John Collins uh, showed a lot of promise last year. Neither of them are a good defender. Neither of them can play center. They're basically the same type of power forward. Why have them both? But, yeah, I have them going Luka Doncic here at three. Number four here is, I don't know. I thought this was going to be Marvin Bagley since the lottery. I thought Marvin Bagley was going to be here for, he's one of the most NBA-ready players in this draft, and they would pair him up with Marcus Gasol and Mike Conley. But there is a chance. I'm not going to do any trades in this. I'm not going to predict any trades because that's just going to throw off my mock draft completely. Yes, you could see a team try to trade up in this draft. We've Dallas. seen uh, rumors that New York, don't think it will happen. Chicago, maybe the Clippers. There's just teams that want to, maybe Boston, we've heard that they kind of want to trade up. So, yeah, I don't, I'm just going to play it off that they're going to keep this. There's those out. rumors every year that Boston wants to trade up and get someone who they're like, oh, Danny H can do it. It's the same thing with the Patriots. There was rumors that they wanted two of this year. They wanted a quarterback last year. It happens every, I think there was Kyler Murray Patriot rumors two years ago, and then there was two of rumors. It's every year with these Boston teams, they're always rumored to trade up. It's never going to happen. It never does, but there's always rumors, I feel. I'm actually going to have Michael Porter Jr. go oh, here. Oh, okay. So he ended up going 14, obviously due to injury. Uh, if he was healthy, he probably would have gone in the top five, but obviously they went Jared Jackson Jr., so that's my first wrong pick. To the Memphis Grizzlies. Have him kind of going up here in the draft. I think All right, so we can kind of skip through this because I have them taking Michael Porter Jr. All right, so the Grizzlies. Holy crap. Dallas at five. If I have Trey Young there, not bad. Nice to go. So pick five here. It's one of two guys for me. I think Dallas either goes. I think if Michael Porter Jr. was on the board, they were going to look heavy into Michael Porter Jr. I have them. It's between... Jaron Jackson Jr. or Mo Bamba, oh. I think they're going to take the center of oh. Bamba because... I don't Imagine know, I Dallas takes Mo Bamba and they don't end up with Jaron Jackson or Luka. How crazy would that team... Like, they would be probably horrible right now, but... I was high on Mo Bamba. I don't know. Maybe 18-year-old me was just high on Mo Bamba. I don't know why. Maybe making a play for Jabari or Randall or Aaron Gordon in free agency to pair up with Barnes, Smith, and possibly... Bamba. Yes, they can go Jackson Jr. and play him at center, but I think they're going to go Mo Bamba here. I think Mo Bamba is the best big man in this draft, in my opinion. You guys know I'm super high on Mo Bamba, and I love him in this draft. I think him and Luka are the two best players in this draft. <laughs> and then Aiden's not far behind, but I, I like Mo Bamba uh, more than DeAndre Aiden. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I do think Dallas is going to go Mo Bamba here at I five. So pick six. I think I thought I was cool and edgy. That's probably it. Here, Orlando. Now, Orlando, I don't think they're going to take the best player on the board, but I don't mind this pick at all. I think they're going to go Trey Young. It hasn't been good for them uh, in recent years, obviously. Uh, I don't think they're going to go forward because I do kind of think they're going to bring back Aaron Gordon. And they do have Jonathan Isaac, so what's the point? And they do have Vucevic and Biombo, so it's kind of clogged there. So if they get a center, if they want to play Jackson Jr. there, it's just it's just going to be a logjam there. So I think they're going to go Trey Young, a position of need. I'm pretty sure 
it's DJ Augustine and what Shelvin Mack on roster that played point guard last year, so it's not very good whatsoever. So I think they're gonna go. Yeah, they should have won point guard. They should have either went Sexton or Gojus Alexander. In hindsight, Gojus Alexander, but still with the best shooter in this draft. And people say he could be a generational talent if he works on his defense. He's not the worst defender in the world, and he shoots from a high percentage. Hopefully, I don't know who their coach is. It's Steve Clifford, who I think is a very good coach, and I think he's an underrated coach. I think he can get him in in the right form. I don't think he's just going to give him the green light all the time. And yeah, I think Trey Young's going to go six to the Orlando Magic, and there's the top six. Now, yes, I have Jaron Jackson Jr. falling this far down in the draft. Now, this is because of Bagley going so high, Michael Porter Jr. going so high, and Trey Young going uh, number six. And I don't think Magic are going to take a big man. Now, I think Chicago is going to be very happy. And the Magic took a big man. Happy with this pick. Yes, they'll be able to upset Mo Bamba and Michael Porter Jr. are both off the board, but I think that they're going to go best player available, and they're going to take Jaron Jackson Jr. Who well, I was wrong. Big, the best. So let's just see. I pick eight, and I was Cavs. kind of debating on one of the two. But with this man being on the board here, I pick eight. I don't, I don't see them passing on him. I don't. Hey, Wendell Carter. They move Kevin Love. Yeah. If they don't move Kevin Love, I don't know if there's been a report that they want to move. So move. I, I have the Cavs. the Cavs taking Wendell Carter Jr. Obviously, we know they took Colin Sexton. No, kind of this year. And Knicks here. For the longest time. I, I'm pretty sure I mocked this correctly. I'm pretty sure I had them taking Kevin Knox. I thought it was Mikael Bridges. I thought Mikael Bridges was the pick here. Good thing that I honestly, looking back on it, I'm glad they took Knox over Mikael Bridges because, like, Mikael Bridges fits perfectly on a coherent, functional team as, like, a great role player, good defensive player, come off the bench, stuff like that. But on the Knicks, what is he really doing? They would have tried to make him, like, this, uh, like, second scoring option. It just never would have worked out. So... I think I'm glad they went Knox. I mean, obviously Bridges is the better player, but what do you've really worked out in New York? Probably not. And then we're going to go Mikel Bridges all the way. So I'm pretty sure I have Knox. Let me just double check this. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm was. i pretty Bye. sure I them. And I'm going to be wrapping my white Kristaps jersey, so if you see me in the stands, get a picture. Uh, but yes, Shy Gilgis, I don't think they're going to do that. But if they go Sexton or Miles Bridges, I'll be upset. But I'll, I'll like the development of Bridges. I won't mind that. But I think they're going to go Kevin Knox out of Kentucky here. He's the project. He's got probably the most potential, I think. All right, so yeah, I mocked him with Kevin Knox. And then who are we up here? We got um, Mikhail Bridges. Did I mock him to Philly at 10? That's kind of right. Bridges, Mikhail Bridges. He's going to either start or come off the bench. But imagine on the same floor at the same time, you have Mikhail Bridges or Mikhail. I'm just going to say Michael, Michael Bridges, and Rocco. Holy crap, that is a nice defensive wing set right there. That is very nice. And then you add Embiid on that court. And then you have, like, a mixture of either Simmons and Fultz out there or Simmons and Sarge. It's very good. And I think they're going to go Michael Bridges. And they should have went. I mean, I guess they got the Miami pick to get Tobias Harris, but that kind of backfired for them. So, yeah, maybe they should have took Mikel and kept him at 10. Michael Bridges, I picked 10. It's the last time I'm saying his name in this video. Now, 11 here is so interesting because... Are they going to trade Kemba? I think they're going to trade Kemba this offseason, Charlotte. And they that did not. would mean that they're going to go after a point guard. They should have, too. In either Sexton or Side Gilgis. It actually, I don't know which one they're going to go. I'm probably going to go to the safer one, but I'm expecting them to go, to go Gilgis. I'm going to have them taking Colin Sexton in the matters of that they do trade Sex uh, Kemba Walker. If they're not trading Kemba Walker, I could see them definitely going Miles Bridges here or maybe Robert Williams. But yeah, I think they're definitely going to go a, a point guard here. I, I think, because I think they're going to trade Kemba either sooner or later, and it, they're going to take Colin Sexton, but I would not be surprised at all if they take Shy Gilgis. Now, pick 12 and 13 here, I have, well, obviously the Clippers are back-to-back -back picks here, so I'll probably be making this in the same video clip, because I do want this to go a little bit quicker than what it has been going. I'm already like 15 minutes in, and we're only 12 picks in. So, Clippers, I have them taking with one of the picks, not Miles Bridges. With Tobias Harris and Neil Gallinari, they have kind of their wing set there. I do have them going Shy Gilgis in a point. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, technically, we should have to buy Charlotte, but come on. Give me credit there. Okay, they, I think Miles Teodosic uh, left Teodosic. them or they agreed to part ways. And they do have Patrick Beverly, who I love, but I think Patrick Beverly could be able to mentor to Shy Gilgis. He could definitely start there right away. Uh, I think he could start. Yeah, I think he could definitely start, or he could just come in shortly um, off the bench for the season. Then he could take uh, Patrick Beverly's spot. And yeah, I think they're going to go point out here. If whoever is not drafted by Charlotte, and it's Sexton or Gilgis on the board. They're going to take that one, in my opinion. Now, they could go Miles Bridges. I mean, I don't, I, I could expect this, but I just heard that they love Robert Williams too much. And I can't go Robert outside Williams, wow. All right. Go I ahead. have Robert Williams going to the Clippers at 14. Okay, so is there a way I could just look at my draft summary? Okay, so... No, I don't see Charlotte. I think they're going to take a point guard, and I think Clippers are definitely going to take Williams and a point guard. Are we on Denver? Yeah, think... Okay, we're on Denver. comments below i don't think and i did it in nba 2k 18 let me know what you guys think about this in the comments
That was fun. Right here in, I did it in NBA 2K18. Let me know what you guys think about this in the Okay, so I know it is kind of blurry on your screen, but I'll make out the picks because I'm, for some reason, going, like, so fast in this. But at 14, I had the Nuggets taking Miles Bridges. They did take another small forward, but it was Michael Porter Jr. Wizards, Wani Walker at 15. That was wrong. They ended up going with Troy Brown Jr., another wing player. Suns, Aaron Holiday. They probably should have went with him, but eh, they actually ended up with Mika Bridges, so I take that back. That, that's a good pick. Uh, so let's see here. I don't know why it's going oh, so I fast. Do I, like, stop it for a second? Okay, so Bucks at 17. That says Zaire Smith. He went... Two picks, or one pick higher to the uh, Sun, second quarter the Sixers. Does Andy Moose into the Spurs? Of course, I mocked an uh, overseas guy to them. Nope, they ended up going Lonnie Walker. Hawks at 19, Chandler Hutchinson. They end up with the guy uh, that I had right after in Kevin Herter. Timberwolves at 20, they took Josh Okogie. Uh, obviously not Herter, so that was wrong. Jazz, DiVincenzo. They took, who did the Jazz take in this draft? Tony Bradley? No, he was 2017. Who did the, did the Jazz cheat out of their pick? Why can't I think of who the Jazz took in the 2018 draft? Hold on. Ah, it was Grayson Allen, not too. They were. I don't know why. I just blacked out on Grayson Allen. Uh, so, DiVincenzo, no. He went to the Bucks a couple picks earlier. Uh, Bulls at 22. They took Chandler Hutchinson, not Kata Bates. The up. He went in the second round to the T Wolves. Pacers at 23. Troy Brown Jr. Uh, they took Aaron Holiday. Trailblazers at 24. Uh, they take Anthony Simons. Was it Simon? It was Simon's or Trent Jr., I think. I think. I'm just saying that. Lakers at 25. I don't even remember who they took. It's probably... It nearly, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe it was, it was Mo Wagner, um, but so it wasn't D'Anthony Melton. 76ers at 26. They took... Uh, I forget. I don't even know. They might have traded out of that. Uh, Celtics at 27. Warriors at 28. Mitchell Robinson. Uh, Nets at 29. Jerome Robinson. And then 30. Uh, Hawks take Anthony Simon. So it probably was Simons at 24. But yeah, this mock wasn't great outside the top 15. I didn't get any of those right. But it is very hard to get those right. But I did get Kevin Knox right technically. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Mika Bridges in the spot they were drafted. And then... Uh, well, technically for Shea. You know what I mean. Give me credit here. So those three, I got Bagley, Aiden, and the Doncic spots, right? So I got six right out of 30. I'll take it. But yeah, that was my reaction to the 2018 uh, or to my 2018 mock draft. I'll leave a link to the video if you want to watch the whole thing in the uh, description. Well, I just didn't want to keep you guys from unnecessary time where we could just find out the picks instead of hearing my 18-year-old self rand uh, ramble about these. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Let me know in the comments any other videos you guys want to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.